Hello everyone, this is John Rawnsley, Independent Affiliate for Freebay. Today I'm going to show you how to back up your G999 wallet to a USB drive. Before we go any further, I'm an Independent Affiliate of Freebay. These videos are not corporate videos and they're not official G999 videos. Therefore, you should make sure that you check that the contents are uh, and proceed only when you're satisfied the information shared is accurate. So here we have a USB drive. USB drives are actually plugged into USB ports of a computer or a Mac, which look like the top one there. So we'll plug the file in, the USB drive. Once plugged in and synced, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the ex file explorer and we're going to find out where that USB drive is. Here you can see that it says John's flash drive and I'm going to create a backup wallet for the G999. And I'm going to call that G999 backup. Once we've created that, I'm going to open my G999 core desktop wallet and I'm going to put a backup in that file. So file, backup, and then navigate to the flash drive and hit the G999 backup. And then I type ENC, which means encrypted because it's an encrypted backup, ENC backup. Then I utilize the day's date, 31st of the 10th, 2020. And then the time that it was actually saved. So I look at the time that it was saved. So I know when that backup was created exactly. Once there, I want to know where my um, files have been loaded. So I go to wallet repair and I look at the wallet info and it tells me that the wallet info is in C, G999, data and the file that we use is wallet.dat so in notepad i'll open a notepad and i will copy that url exactly as it is c colon backslash g triple nine backslash data backslash wallet.dat this is so that i know if the worst happens where to locate or where to install and where to put the backup file. So I save that and I'll also save that onto my G999 backup file and I will just call it G999 wallet location. And then save that to the file. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually navigate to where the installation of the core wallet is on my PC. The reason I'm doing this, if you have a node, there are two files that you need to actually take a copy of um, going forward. So the two files are g999config and masternode config files. So we're going to copy those two and we are going to go to our flash drive and paste them in there. That's copied, not moved. So everything stays as it is, but my USB drive is now all set with all the backup information that I want. And I can go and put that away in a safe place in the safe or somewhere like that. First off, to eject, go to the little arrow on the right hand side, then select the USB and then eject, safely eject the file. When you do this, it stops that USB drive getting corrupted if you were just going to pull it out of the computer. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.